I wouldn't say that Nuno Espirito Santo's side played with the handbrake on but it did feel like they were a little more cautious than usual. That's that's totally understandable as although talented, this side will still need time to acclimatize with life at the top. As much as the deafening Molino crowd were desperate for an opening day win, the manner in which the first point of the season was earned will have left most feeling reasonably satisfied. Some will say you should beat 10 men, others will say that coming back twice from a losing position takes heart. Either way, Wolves took a point against a well-established Premier League side, which is a point more than the other two promoted sides managed on Saturday. Atmosphere This may seem controversial to some and by no means am I telling people how to support the club. But for as brilliant as the atmosphere was at kickoff and as loud as the celebrations were for the Ruben Nevis goal, when Everton scored it really seemed to stun the home ends. Wolverhampton Wanderers digests, Cavalera Blow Everton certainly won't be last team to take the lead at Molino this season and it's those moments after Wolves concede where the team need that vocal unity from the terraces the most. It's just my opinion, but I think you know what I'm trying to say. Asterisk grabs tinhead asterisk Lester flashes of Paul v. Walsh and more cards than Clinton's, those were the days my friend, well at Filbert Street anyway. Nuno is ruthless but he very rarely makes multiple changes for league games, if anything he loves an unchanged side. But after last week's 2-2 opener, he'll certainly have a dilemma or two when picking his 11 for Wolves' most local away trip trip this season. Ground to ground, it's 64.6 miles if you are interested. The wing-back positions have been a hot topic amongst fans this week, particularly as Ruben Vinagre's second-half introduction impressed many and it would be hard to argue that he didn't add balance, especially as he's a natural lefty. Wolves news transfers fixtures under 23's Wolves bets our app however, 3 don't go into 2. Johnny looks a very steady footballer but looks like a right back playing at left wing back and Matt Doherty had the season of his life last year and surely deserves more than one game, doesn't he? Ivan Cavallero is unfortunately still missing. At the time of writing this we are no wiser on Adama Traore's fitness, so that only leaves Leander Dendonker as the only other potential change but surely Ryan Bennett doesn't deserve to be dropped, does he? I wouldn't be surprised if it was the same 11 as Everton with Dendonker on the bench and who knows, maybe even Traore as well. You can follow Ryan Leister on Twitter at Marianne Leister.